Hi, I'm Dana Spino, and welcome to the first edition of Making a Difference for the 2018-19 school year. First, I'd like to introduce you to high school senior class president, Marie Smith, who has taken advantage of every opportunity that Upper Darby High School has to offer. Hi, I'm Marie Smith, and I'm a senior here at Upper Darby High School. I really enjoy the people at Upper Darby. I think that when you get to meet new people, not only are you learning like more about them, you're learning about yourself. Being part of a big family has definitely helped give her a sense of competition, determination, and just trying to be better and get better. Growing up, um, my brother was always someone that like, he's a year older than me, so we were always like competing. If Steven will come home and be like, I joined this club and I'm president of this club, she'll be like, Psh, I can doubt that. I'm president of the senior class. What do you think of that? I'll see like an available spot for something. I'm like, oh, like that's available. I'm going to go for it. She practically lives at Upper Derby High School um, with all the clubs, activities, sports. She's always running here, running there. I have this meeting, I have that meeting. She'll stop by one of my meetings. I have to go here. I have to do this. She does so many things in one school year. I know she's athletic. She plays field hockey in the fall. I think there's a special love for field hockey and sports in general, but if she's in a club, she will give it her she is an encore singer, NHS, NEHS. She's volunteered at her elementary school for their field day. Her freshman year, she did an amazing science research project on quasars, and she ended up getting first place in the whole Delaware Valley for her research. Widener Engineering Club, and that team was ranked statewide. DECA Medical Club. She's the president of the senior class, which is pretty amazing. She was class president last year. She's been involved in student government all along. I really want to help like our class not only get things done, but also and I just wanted our class to see the best of Upper Darby. So. She wrote a fantastic speech and everybody else was like impressed and I guess pleased with how good of a president she is. I think she's a great person for the position and I think that the class recognizes that, that she's doing an excellent job and that she's the type of person that they want to have leading them in their senior year. It's like her senior year, so she is in general like hyped up because like it's almost over. You have so many moments and people I know who have graduated, they are looking back and saying, wow, when I was here, I really took my time here for granted. And I think if I'm trying to achieve something, then I don't want to just be good at it. I want to be like the like top. I hope that the underclassmen kind of look up and have the same like view of me that I had of the seniors that I respected. Her being a leader, it's kind of an inspirational role model to look up to in the club, to like what you can be, and it's like, I know that person. I can ask them their secrets and then like learn it myself. I wanted people to like look at me and say, okay, like if she can do it, like I can do it. She's not showy about anything, she's just very calm. She kind of likes to work behind the scenes, like doesn't want her face plastered on posters. If she got a ton of attention, then it would kind of like put her on a pedestal that people think they wouldn't be able to reach and she would like hate that. I don't think I started out like as someone who people would consider a leader. It was something that I always wanted to become, but I wasn't necessarily like like ready for it. If you want to like lead people, you want people to look up to, you want to influence people that you have to you have to talk to those people and if you're trying something new, not worrying about like being bad at it and just going for what you wanna do. Every day she's an inspirational role model. She's always there for me and for anybody else and she's just helping you be the best you can. Thanks Marie. We can't wait to see all the great things you'll accomplish in your senior year and beyond. Next, I'd like to introduce to you Drexel Hill Middle School instrumental music teacher, Jason Mayerzak, whose passion for music inspires his students every day. I am Jason Mayerzak. I teach instrumental music at Drexel Hill Middle School, band and orchestra. He eats, breathes, dreams, sleeps, lives a music. I came from a musical family. My mother actually was a singer and uh, my dad played guitar, my sister played piano and drums, so it just kind of evolved. Music was always huge in our family. Everything is rhythm to him, you know, his hands are always going and yeah, he just is a, he's a drummer. Fourth grade, I started officially taking, playing the drums in band and uh, was really into it by middle school. I knew 
from like my sophomore year in high school that I wanted to be a music teacher. I went to Westchester University, that's where I went to college, and a friend of mine that was teaching Upper Darby's Drumline asked me to come on board and help be one of the drum techs. When I graduated college, he sent me a letter and said, hey, I'm leaving Upper Darby, and I think you would be a perfect fit for the job. You know, I'll recommend you. And he did, and uh, I interviewed, and the rest is history. Jason started his career in the district at Upper Darby High School, and he came over, I think this is now his fifth year, as the instrumental music teacher at Drexel Hill Middle School. I have four children of my own, and uh, they were young back then, so I wanted to try to spend a little more time with them, and the high school band director job is, is very demanding of time. So uh, when the middle school job opened up five years ago, I, I jumped on it, and I've been here ever since. Once Jason came and joined the team here at Drexel Middle School, it was a great fit and the program has grown tremendously since he has been here. We have one teacher to teach us all the instrumental. I am in charge of um, the orchestra. Concert, band, and symphonic band. The jazz ensemble. And then we do lots of little solo groups. Last year we did a percussion ensemble. This year we did a flute ensemble. So I try to vary it up every year. So along with that, more than just our spring concert and our winter concert, countless other performances that they have throughout the course of the school year. This year he added eight jazz festivals at night, so we told him to step back, that's a lot. But, it, no, it's, and the kids step up. It's a big change, it's an adjustment to go from teaching seniors in high school to 11-year-old sixth graders. I still believe that, you know, even at this age, they can be responsible, they can practice, they can, you know, be self-learners, and they can work hard. And I think that that's really important with, you know, what we do here is, is getting those kids on that right path. It's pretty much you set the bar high enough, and he does, and they strive and do their best to meet it. It's exciting music. It's meant to kind of lift you up and, and get you excited. So when the kids do it, you know, I feed off of their music, they feed off of me. He doesn't even use the score. He just blip, 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 go, go. He's the choreography of what the kids are playing. Deaf people totally would enjoy watching Jason Mayer's act conduct. And that's not a performance for the parents in attendance. That is how he is with, you know, three students sitting there during a lesson on a Wednesday. It's not me trying to like get them going or trying to, you know, when they don't play well, I don't get inspired. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of stand there. And, but when they play well, it, it's very inspiring. He's so proud of the students and what, they're, what they are able to accomplish and how far they come from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I can only give them the music and work with them. You know, they have to have the passion to do it. He uses music as a tool to let the child see where they want to go or see what they can do or see what's possible. One of my favorite things has always been watching kids come in thinking that they couldn't do something because they couldn't at first and then working really hard for it and then all of a sudden they can do it and at a really, really high level. And it's so neat to see that pride that they take from that. You know, I've watched students just be transformed, you know, from, from real quiet, shy, to you know really having just this great attitude and, and because they see that like wow he was right like if I work hard at this I can do it. Middle school level doesn't matter what age you are you can sound great you know and you can be great and so yeah that's kind of what I've I've taken out of all these 20 years. <laughs> Thank you Jason for your enthusiasm for music and your years of dedication to the Upper Darby School District. And thank you for watching another edition of Making a Difference. Tune in next month as we highlight two more exceptional people in the Upper Darby School District.